today, we're going to go to agent.kw.com to access KW Command. Okay, so we're going to be accessing KW Command to be able to get this process going. So I'm actually going to go back to the home screen of KW Command so you all will know. This is where you will be when you come in. And to get to the website portion, you will go down on the menu on the left. I may have a couple of icons that you do not have. Don't panic if you see something on my screen that you do not have. You are going to find the one near the bottom, if not at the bottom left, that says sites when you hover over it. If you would like to expand those to where they're not just icons, you can click on the red and white KW and it will slide out all of the names of the icons so that you're able to see what they all are. Okay. So we're gonna go to sites. Site, S-I-T-E? Sites, yes, S-I-T-E-S. Yeah, scroll down a little bit. Um, I'm at the bottom. I got inside, but I don't know. Okay, it's just below inside your screen. I had to just do that online. Okay. <laughs> okay, so everybody in the room is now located sites if you're following along with me. Okay, so when you click on sites, you all may not have anything that shows up right here on landing pages. It's probably blank unless you've been created like I have. Okay, so you may have nothing and that's all right. So this section of the KW Command platform is going to be a place where you can house individual landing pages that you use for lead capture. We're not talking about that today though, okay? You can house the agent site pages, so the different pages that are on your actual agent site. And then an index of every one of your neighborhood landing pages that you have created for your people. So you have the, all three of those things there. You also have agent site settings. So these are the settings that we're gonna look at after we walk through the Kelly Guide to make sure that your site is activated to be shown on the internet. And some of the other things that you can do with that. And I will give you a brief overview of how you can create new pages to add to your website. Is that all good? I did ask you a question. And, um, mm -hmm. So, like under my other one, it was like Beth White. Um, dot KW. Dot com. No. Oh, dot com. Yes. But now, what, like, what happened to that? Like, I can't use that anymore. Like, because now it's saying it's be white dot KW dot com. So, dot com, so like everything I have for is all that other stuff. So, the Beth White Homes dot com. Did you own that domain through? somewhere else probably probably did you have it going to placer or to probably i guess okay. I okay you probably have a GoDaddy, and that's how the routing we need to talk about how to route that so, so we'll be able to yes you will so you can leave it what you can make it just whatever and we'll talk about that we're going to talk about all of those little nuances because i think it's super important for you guys okay so when you first go to sites, I just wanted to give you a landscape of what all these different little menu buttons are. And you have the opportunity to scroll to the very bottom of the screen and you will see your learn more with Kelly guide. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me move this really quick. This mouse on the other computer is the bane of my existence. Um, so on this, you will see on the corner, learn more with Kelly guide in the very bottom corner, with the little eye, right? Everybody, raise your hand if you see it. Okay, great. So if you see that, then what we're gonna do, our very first step today is to click on that so that we can start talking through all of these pieces. When you click on this, it's going to pop up a window. This is before you begin. What provider do you wanna use for your website? Is there anyone in this room who opted to pay Playster and keep it? 
Okay, yay. Not spending any more money than we had to, right? Awesome. So if you did that, you would want to select Blaster. If you wanted to figure out what your best option is, you can click I want to explore other options. If you just want to forge forward with the KW site, click the top button. So we're going to click the top button. Um, then, and of course, you're going to hit submit. It's going to open for you the Kelly guide. The purpose of a Kelly guide is like a digital walkthrough of making sure that you have all of the steps done and all the boxes checked, right? Should we always use the big head of Yes, use that one. Why would people want to keep the plastic here? So some people did a lot of customization to it. Some people paid to have someone else refresh it to look a certain way with branding. And I know that those folks wanted to keep that branding looking the same while they figured out if they wanted to utilize the KW agent site. They just wanted to have, they didn't want to drop off the website they've used for years, I guess is the reason behind that. It's a great question why someone would keep that. So on here, you're going to be walking through four steps to get through this guide. And you're going to start out by clicking get started at the bottom of the three icons that talk about choosing your subdomain, your theme and styling, and your page creation. So get started will be your first button to click. Is everybody with me? Okay, I just want to make sure. Don't want to go too fast. Okay, so when you click get started, another pop-up window is going to come up. It's going to remind you that all agent sites must meet a certain set of requirements. It's going to talk about the different things that Keller Williams as an entity, Keller Williams International, requires all franchisees with all of their independent contractors to have on all of their websites. Then it has a statement that talks about your local board, your local, um, you know, your state organizations, making sure that you have your broker to tell you any specific guidelines that you would need. Who would you be asking for those? The, who's your broker? Stephen. So Stephen Sharp is gonna be your main man to get your information about any state, Tennessee or Georgia or Alabama regulations that you all need to know about your website, okay? Everybody good with that? Who are we going to call about that? Steve, Steve. Steven. Great. So what we're going to do from here, and it does also have a link to get your approved market center or brokerage logo. Um, our logo is Keller Williams Greater Chattanooga Realty. Anybody know that? Yeah. So that's our approved DBA logo. If you click on this, it's going to open a new window, because see, look, our other window is still active, and it's going to take us directly to logos and branding. How many of you guys have been in class with me before where we walked through like the 32 steps to get to here? So this one takes you straight there. <laughs> and then you have the opportunity to scroll about halfway down the page to where it says search for your Market Center logo. If you want to search for your Market Center logo, your best bet is to type 532, and it's going to bring up your Greater Chattanooga logos. You can download or preview, and it will give you all of the various color selections. You will want to choose the color selection that looks like this with the red and the gray in order to make it work for your website. It won't show up otherwise. Is everybody good with that? You're fine, you're absolutely fine. So on the second pop-up that comes up inside the Kelly Guide, it's going to talk about Keller Williams stuff, right? Stuff that we have to be, have to be compliant for Keller Williams International. Talking with our broker, Steven, about our local licensing board, market center leadership conversations to make sure everything is good and to go as far as the state of Tennessee, Georgia, or Alabama. Um, and then clicking here to get your approved Marvis Center logo. Um, I think it's important to put this logo on the website because for Keller Williams International, I think they're reading 
like this, there's some kind of AI that is reading these websites and telling you if it's compliant or not. And if it's not compliant, according to Keller Williams, let's see, look at the first one right here that it says for Keller Williams, you have to have the brokerage DBA logo. It will not publish to the internet. Even if you click the little button to publish it, it'll read it and go, nope, and turn it right back off. So that has been something that's been brought to my attention a few times. So I've just made sure people knew to get, get this logo. You did not get here? Which screen are you on? Okay. Okay, so hit that. So right there, you'll type 532. Okay, and you've downloaded it. So this is the window over here. Yeah, you can quickly show me where we're at. Yeah, absolutely. So catching up here at sites, which is right there. Sorry. The bottom left when this loads says load more videos. Okay. So for those of y'all watching online, we've got people joining us into the classroom and we're just getting caught up for a minute. So you downloaded those, yeah. and they're in your computer. So we'll get to the point where we talk about putting them in. Okay, so that's the correct. That's logo. the correct logo. Okay. So we, need to, we need to click on that to get the correct. Yes, yeah, so you definitely want to download that to get the correct logo. So once you've downloaded it, if it's sitting in the bottom corner of your Chrome, let me just go ahead and do that too because I I don't know if I have them on this laptop or not. So here they are. Um we would be able to go ahead and click acknowledge and continue and move forward. Okay. Are we good to do that? Are we good to move forward? Oh no. <laughs> Beth will be waiting at the door. <laughs> All right. If your phone or, and or computer or not off. I wonder if my handoff is turned off. Let me go. That's all right. I just want to make sure that mine is not going to do that too. Um, yes, we're going to turn that off. Okay, so. Here we come, we're back. All right, so, yes, that was a good reminder for me that my laptop will not ring. <laughs> um, all right, so, once we're here, once we're here, <laughs> I'm not, so we're at this compliance screen. Is everybody here and everybody good to click acknowledge and continue? Okay, I just wanna make sure. <laughs> okay, so when you guys get into this first screen, it's going to be talking about choosing your subdomain. The first thing that I would tell you is that if you have something filled in here, it already had that subdomain from Playster. Like it already knew that that is what you had selected, or basically it's selected for you based on your KW email. Okay, so it's here based on your KW email, which is why yours is be white. So um, it's already living here. If this is not what you want, 
you can click inside of this box and change it to something else. Just make sure that you confirm the domain before you continue through this page. So everybody that's here, is there anybody who has nothing right here in this box? That's good news. Is there anybody who's working on changing that right now so that they get something different? This is not where you would forward a domain that you already own. This is the subdomain that you will use to forward to whatever the website is that you want it to read when people type it in. So you have to select a subdomain. You can't go around that. So is there anybody that's still working on trying to figure out what they want? No, but my screen doesn't look like that. Your screen doesn't look like that. It's finally got to go somewhere. It's got this part. Okay, so go back here. And then click the top button and hit submit. Are we good? And then we want to choose your subject. Is that what you're asking? Yes. So choose option about where at get started. And then it's asking you to make sure you have the right logo. So when you get there, it'll probably make you log in again. Okay. So I know it's hard with so many people off <laughs> to get it all in order. But we're just catching up for any of this. Once you have those downloaded, they can just live in the bottom corner of your Chrome. We'll talk about what to do with them here in a minute. 532. Five, All right. So once you're here at the subdomain, you will type it in or just make sure that it is what you want. And then just go ahead and, if, even if it was already here, go ahead and hit confirm so that it knows that you have confirmed your domain. I've already done that, so I don't have to this again um, so from here the next part of this page is configuring the profile how many of y'all in the room have already done your marketing profile in KW command I think so some half hands a few full hands okay that's okay even if you have not done that this page will allow you to update everything that you need um, and they have fixed a lot of the funkiness around logos and around photographs and things that we have had issues with in classes before. So, so I'm, gonna, I'm about to show you. So once you get through the subdomain piece, do you guys see the little black arrow next to marketing profile? Mm -hmm. Just click it and it will expand mm -hmm. that area. So it will give you all of the stuff as like a drop down. So once you've clicked here on the little arrow, you will have your basic information, so your name, your, your market center or brokerage name will be there automatically and you actually will not be able to change that. Even if you're Ulawa or Hickson, your market center is technically East Brainerd. So, um, however, you do want to make sure that if you are Ulawa or Hickson that you put in the proper address. Don't put in this address if your license is hanging at the other building. What is our market number, brokerage license number? Brokerage license number for East Brainerd, for Tennessee, 258433. Yes. Yes. It's not, what does it say? Does it? That's interesting. I wonder. I think you would have had to put that in the Just change it. Well, that one won't allow you to change it in this sec segment. So it's probably something in your marketing profile. Um, this is. This was autofilled for me. I don't know. Um, 
Mm -hmm. like yeah, because it still says East Brainerd, because that's technically the name of the market center. So, um, you can. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think that you would be fine to say Keller Williams Realty because that's our DBA name. You could say Greater Chattanooga. That is our actual name. So either of those are fine. If you have this, it's fine. Any of those are fine that you all have said. So if that's what you have. You all are fine to have that unless you like something better. Oh, my. Yeah, my is Chattanooga. Mm-hmm. So. <clears throat> so I don't know. What is the compliant way to do I'm about to show you. Thank you for asking. So as you guys go through all of this, you will be able to enter your job title, realtor, affiliate broker, whatever you all would like to use. If you use realtor, if you have a keypad on your computer and you're on a PC, if you use the alt code, alt0174, it will create the little R. If you're on a Mac, if you use command R, right? Command R? Yeah. Alt zero. Zero one four. Uh, zero one seven four. Excuse me. Oh, that's refresh. Is it? Is it? Fun it's function R, isn't it? Yeah. It's option R on Mac. On a regular PC, if you have the numeric keypad on the right hand side, it would be you hold your Alt key, A L T key, and t and type zero one seven four. And then release your alt key and it will put oh, it down. So cute. Just right up there. If you do not have a numeric keypad, you will have to wait to do it when you are on a computer with a numeric keypad. I don't have the drop down for, um, for editing the, the profile, and I think it's because you know why we yeah. don't have yeah. yeah. Oh, no, there. Are you ready? I wonder if I borrow your mouse really good. Yes. Mark, whatever the marketing group is in here. So Mark 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 Michael, Michael, yeah. Yeah. Michael Lewis or Marketing says, agent like, who's an expert in this local area yeah. that brings wealth and knowledge and expertise right. about buying and selling. Okay. <laughs> So, for you. if we are working through here, just make sure too that when you have your address, that you have your office address, not your personal address. Just making sure to put that out there. Um, and then it's going to ask you for your email. It's going to ask you for phone numbers. It's so crazy, but do not put any dots or dashes or parentheses in the phone numbers. Just numbers. Oh, really? Okay. And if you do a full amount. It pulls them out anyway, but if there has been some errors that have occurred if you do it, and it's like 50% of the time. <laughs> so 50% of the time it pulls them out, 50% of the time it like displays them really crazy. So I just figured let's not do it at all, right? Um, and then biography. So if you do not want to try to type out a biography right now or you cannot access something easily that you can paste, you might want to type something like coming soon just so that it will let you move forward and you can always come back. Okay, because we maybe don't have time to type a whole biography right now, right? Okay. So then as you guys get down towards the bottom, you'll have your agent license number. Obviously, if you have more than one, you'll want to do Tennessee number, blah, 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 slash Georgia number, blah, 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 Alabama slash blah, blah, blah. You'll just want to do it like that. Okay. Um, there's just they haven't really designed this system to have for multi-state licensees oh. so you have to put it all on one line so that's just what i know the compliance and legal footer so the first part of this is the keller williams international requirement which is each office independently owned and operated The second part of your legal footer is the part, I always like to go ahead and put it in here. That way it's on every single page of your website, your license numbers. So licensed agent in, and then you could do Tennessee, blah, 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 comma, Georgia. Again, 
all of those different numbers. I think it's just a really good idea. So this website is pretty good about displaying your license number. However, it's not necessarily a bad idea to have all of them in another place. And then the same is true if you are licensed with multiple states with the brokerage. This is just the East Brainerd, Tennessee license number. If you need, I don't know the Alabama license number for East Brainerd, but I do know that the Georgia license number is 51616. Uh, and the Georgia license number is the same for all three offices because we have all of your Georgia licenses here. Okay. For Georgia, 51616. Very easy. Okay. There is, you don't have to put it in there. Yes, there's an H in front of it. However, you do not have to have it. Um, and of course, then you have your market, market center or brokerage office phone number because we have to have that on all the pages, right? Yes? Yes. Okay. <laughs> just yes, just yes, we do. We knew that. We were going to do it anyway. And then at the next segment, this is something that is optional for you. So I did a couple so you can see it. You absolutely do not have to have any links in the footer at all. Not required. However, there's a couple things that I wanted people to be able to have access to on my website that I had not really wanted, I didn't really want to build a page around it per se. I just wanted a link there. So I did the real estate careers website that I have for the office. And then I have my Calendly appointment link so you guys can see my calendar and go make appointments with me. Cool, right? So you guys could do the same thing. You guys could create a Calendly link that you could put in here for people to set appointments with you when you have open times and you could set up what those times look like. You can control when they can schedule with you. So if you go to my calendar and you're like, wow, I don't, she has nothing available. Just email me because what I've done is I put placeholders in there. And I sometimes move those placeholders, but sometimes I forget to move placeholders. So that's why it looks like there's no time slots. Every Monday I go in and delete the placeholders. And sometimes life happens. <laughs> right. Well, and it's just usually getting in here on a Monday and like something happening. So, um, but those are some links that I put in the bottom. You do not have to put links unless you want to. So as you can see, as I filled this stuff out, everything is over here. You can see my links. You can see my license number, each office independently owned and operated. You can see all of those fascinating, wonderful things that you need to see, right? Then the next segment is the pictures. So what picture do you want right here? So for me, I really want to adjust my picture to where the top of my head is not cut off. So I'm gonna have to do that. I'm gonna have to adjust that picture to where it's gonna sit more centered. Um, so that's just a personal that's preference. You upload the, the yes, you just upload your picture right here and you can upload your logo that you just downloaded in here. Okay. You can also put your own logo if you have a logo. I have used the Keller Williams Labs logo as a dummy logo, if you will, so you can see what it looks like when you have one. Again, Which one did you say you used your not required. So I would use, I'm going to open that file so you guys can see it. It would be, I would probably use, I mean, you, I would probably use the CMYK, the, the folder that says CMYK, uh -huh. um, and then go to the very end, which is the Keller Williams Realty CMYK PNG. So it looks like red with gray, but it says PNG at the end instead of JPG. Does it? It's supposed, it's supposed, it, mm -hmm. it should do it as a resize. Cause I just uploaded it directly. So 
hot day, right? <laughs> yes, I did. C M Y K. And you went to the three microphone? Yes. And now what do we do when we're here? So when you're here, um, I would go ahead and like put that, put this on your desktop so it'd be easy for you to get to it. So you would be able to put that on your desktop so that you would have it. Um, any computer, you should just be able to drag it and move it to your desktop. Or. It just allowed me to choose it. I, I browsed it and it shows it. Yeah, you can browse or ch and choose it. But mine weren't in the same order. It was just worse. I had to look for the computer. That's so crazy, isn't it? So let me go back. And we're going to re share the screen. Is there anybody who is lost who needs assistance? That's okay. It's okay to be lost. Okay, I'll start hearing you up the road. Okay. Mm -hmm. Somebody else's computer. It's um, yes, I'm looking for the correct logo and I'm going to put it on the desktop. I want to look at this one really quick. Sure, I think that's one. I got the lock. 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 I got the Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll get around. 
For if you're watching this online, to be patient with us in the room. So as we continue kind of working through here, the next segment is your social media segment. And this is where you can paste the URLs of any social media sites that you want people to have access to through your website. So you just want to make sure you go to those different platforms, copy the URL, and paste it there. I'm happy to show you, like maybe make a video about that just for a later time to keep us expedited today. Is that okay? Yes. Well, what is, I've got some in here that I don't use. Just Twitter. if you've got them and you don't ever use them, just leave them blank. They're not required. Okay. None of them are required. 
And then the KW mobile app link is the one at the very, very bottom. If you guys want to add a link to your app, the fastest, most effective way to do that is to hit the share button in your app and text it to yourself. And you would be able to see or email it to yourself. You will be able to see the information about the app code and the app URL. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. That's the fastest, what easiest way to get it. So what's in here may not be correct. Mine matches yours identically, so it's not gonna be my That's my app, so you don't definitely don't want that on there. If it's identical. Yeah. If you if <laughs> any <laughs> well I didn't mean it like that. No, I guess it isn't. KW2DN and that's probably what everyone starts with. KW2DN and then it will be four unique numbers on here. Okay, good. Listen, y'all, that has happened to me in the classroom. Somebody, more than one person has put my app on their stuff and they're like, what? I, I shared my app and no one's getting anything. <laughs> they said your face is on it. Yeah, it's fun. Um, so it's just real talk. But um, you, can, you can do that. That's the fastest, most effective way to get it. It's always going to be, ooh, and that should be, have an S on the end of it. It should always be https colon slash slash app.kw.com forward slash and then whatever your code is. So that is what it is. Is there, So looking through here, is there anything that I did not identify that you're like, what is that? And I don't know what that is, right? I don't know what this does or what this means. Okay. Now. You have to make sure anything with a red asterisk is filled in. Even if you have to put coming soon on a biography, you need oh, okay. to. Okay, that's what I'm doing. Yep. The market center, my LinkedIn one wasn't right, and it was filled in. The market center brokerage. So you can have either Chattanooga East Brainerd, Keller Williams Realty, or Greater Chattanooga, any of those. Greater Chattanooga Realty, I guess, would be probably the proper one. Okay. And this is being recorded. There's going to be that dead space on it where we've had to go through the room, but it'd be better to have that with dead space than not at all, right? So this will be on Facebook later. Um, okay. If you guys are okay, I'm going to try to move to the next screen. If you guys hit save and continue and you get a red error message and it does not move you, will you let me know right now? Okay. What does the red error message say? Your red Your app link must be valid. You need that, but you didn't have to have that in the HTTP months. Okay. I'm not trying to yet because I just wanted to check on this. But the, the thing that I have a question about Jessica is that last thing there that you said with people who copied yours. I have no idea what the man is right. The athlete? Yeah. So, How do I know that? Um, when we go and look at our website, we'll, we'll look at it and see it. Okay. So, yeah. So, okay. Go back there and after the P, just put an X. Okay. So this is how I'm going to see what it says. Your LinkedIn link must be valid. HTTP. Oh, there's not a dot like everybody in the 
it says the name of the the subject. So there's a slash there and then out and the dot. <coughs> are are going to be some more things that you guys are going to want to make sure you are completely filled in. So on this this page we're going to talk about the theme and the style. So you have two choices. They gave me it really easy for you. They didn't give you 42 choices. They gave you two. Red or gray? Red or gray? I mean, your choice. You choose. One's not right, one's not wrong. Does that make sense? So just click the little radio button next to which one you like and just keep going. I'm running compliance with Lincoln Workers. Leave it alone or Rock Kings Um, It's just each office independently owned and operated and then license agent in your states. So the next piece is the little bit of content that is laying on top of this picture that is the call to action to this search bar right here so you can put anything you want to oh, you can leave it like it is too. or you can leave it like <laughs> it is but you can put anything you want to right within reason so she, i can't get to that page because every time i click on it it's error no it's error. 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 Where'd you get the tacky picture? Where'd you get the tacky picture? Oh, on another stock photo mm -hmm. thing that I have. I have one and they said I have a busy. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Can I have a picture of this? Um, 
second okay so if you're having any issues on that screen and you can't move forward like hers is just not letting her move forward so we're gonna have to figure that out um yeah if you're having any issues just just track with me watch me and let me know at the end and we will get you through it we'll figure it out okay so on this one you're gonna make sure that you put your text whoops sorry yeah pop up again um, you're gonna put your text right here for your homepage text you are going to look at the images that they have because they have a nice little set of images that are scrolling images that are put in here for you you can absolutely leave these as they are okay so you can absolutely use these as they are you do not have to upload additional pictures or remove delete these you can use them. Style and theme, the second page. So once you've moved, I think you, I think we moved you forward to where you should see this. Okay, so you'll just keep scrolling. It's, they're lower down here. Okay. You have to put your person in the and then start to scroll. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 So that's, this is other thing on the company profile. Is that on your part? Your company profile page, you're on there. Yeah, that was, that's really good though. Thank you. Come up with that on my own. Well, what does uh, it was, that say? I don't have any. Well, you just want to give me a hard time. Right now? You don't want to. Just I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 We're, we're going to work through it, Celeste, I promise. Um, so on this part, y'all are just going to make sure to look at these, see if there's anything on here that you don't to want to represent your business. You can delete it or preview it. Um, or if there's things you want to add that are personalized, like houses or um, pictures of you, or pictures of, yes, whatever you wanna put on there, you can do that. So um, just make sure you have the rights to the photos. Don't just go and find pretty Chattanooga pictures and throw them on there. You have to make sure you own the rights to the photos. I will continue to preach that forever. If you just don't know what it's like when you get a phone call from somebody after you bought something that you thought you had the rights to. <laughs> it's an attorney calling you. You don't want that phone call. I've had that phone call. You've been to Facebook. 
Yeah, I totally get it. Yeah. So, okay. So from here, once you guys have made sure that you have the little header writing right here that you want, and you have the images that you want, or you are looking at the ones that are there and say, those are perfectly fine with me. You can just hit save and continue, and it's gonna move you forward to step three. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking that there's some things going on with command today, just because I've seen some other weird wonkiness that's occurred. Just ignore that for now and just hit save and continue. You can always go back and edit it, okay? There is one really huge important, if you guys don't get anything else that I tell you today, I need you to zoom in on me right now, okay? Zone in. Um, on this page right here, you have got three pages that are already here that are for you to fill in. Okay, there's a company profile page, an about me page, and a contact us or contact me page. So these three core sets of information are going to be the things that everybody has pretty much told Keller Williams, these are the things that I need at my core on my website, period. Now there's some deviation that you can do later creativity, if you will. But these are the three core values, right? On here, the, this is going to start with the company profile. See how it's bold and these are lighter? So this first one you're going to work through is your company profile page. So if you want to minimize the navigation so you can see the others, other two little sections that are drop downs, you can. The first one that opens is the search engine optimization. It's where you title this page and you create some important information for Google to understand what this page is about. I do not sell real estate. I have a license, but I don't sell real estate. For me, I decided to use a technology page, right? You all can use this page for anything that you want to relate it to your business, right? This is, the, this is kind of a creative page. You can make it about all of the different services that you offer, like I offer buyer services, seller services, referrals, whatever that is. You could, because there's three sections in this page. So when you guys are looking at this, you want to make sure to title the page this title is what's going to show up in the drop down menu on the physical website. So, KW Technology. That's what I decided to title it. This information, the slug, is what they call the subdirectory. So, when you go to my website, it's jessicaborden.kw.com. If you wanted to see this page, you would add the forward slash and then whatever comes after that forward slash would get you to this page. So you're creating the directory, like you have your main website and then you have these little sub pages that are inside your website. Is that clear as mud? <laughs> okay. So you're creating that. They already have a suggested one here for you. If you're not making your page about what it says, you will want to adjust it to be what you want it to be. So here's a couple things for you to know. It cannot have any spaces. And it cannot have special characters outside of dashes. You want a dash between every word that you type. About my business would be about dash my dash business. Get to know me, get dash to dash no dash me, right? You want it to be separated by dashes. Less is more, simple is easier, right? So, so what would we page our title our page like this KW real estate? Or? So remember up here, you have three pages. You have company profile, about me, and contact me. So contact me is a, fill it, a fillable form. So that's kind of easy, done, check. About me is about you. And then company profile could be, you could call it my services, or you could call it 
get to know KW Chattanooga or KW Chattanooga and talk about all of the different people. You know, you have 331 agents to network with. You have, a, you know, uh, an array of vendors that are pri private for them to use. You know, all of those kinds of things that you could offer to them as services. So I would focus on this being a service-minded piece of your website. Something about your business that's service. Or like what we offer. What you offer, yes. Buyer services, seller services, referrals, relocation, whatever those different things are that you could offer. So if you specialize in farms and land, you might want to put something in your website about that. Yeah, I did put that in here because I walked through this uh, with mm -hmm. other, but I, the page title wasn't quite the same. Yeah, so I would just say like, um, what I bring to the table or what I offer or something along those lines. Why work with me? Why choose me? Words are powerful. So when you look at it, say, is this what I'm saying, suggesting to them that it's something that I would want to be, they wouldn't be connected to me. <laughs> I know that this stuff is not easy, y'all. I know that. I've also walked through this guide like 17 times, right? Mm -hmm. Because I have to. I have to know it so I can tell you, right? All of the hours of time that I have spent learning it before now is why it looks easy today. It's not easy, and I know that. So just know that you also have these little tool tips, the little eyes in the circle, are what they call tool tips. So it tells you kind of a suggestion of information. Like page title, the name for this page as it appears in navigation. The unique slug mm -hmm. for your site's URL. Best practice, keep it short. But is this not the one that's already, like yours? Oh, you changed it. So. I did. In fact, I'm going to change it again because I feel like that is too... Mm -hmm. Do I need to change it? You don't have to. You don't have to. Or about me, because it's not really in us, right? So the next page is about me. Oh. So you don't want to be about me. You can't be about me twice. Can we try and change it? Sure, yeah. If we want to try and change it, why do we Yes, you can go back and change it. If you want to leave these exactly as they are, can you see that the only things that are required are the title and the subdirectory here? You don't have to fill in the SEO content. Um, I've got a really good video about the SEO content, which is search engine optimization. It's how Google understands your website and how it tells people to find it. So those, are, those two are the only required pieces of this page. So you could theoretically leave it like exactly as it is and you could come back later, okay? In fact, in this rushed kind of environment that we're in, I would not suggest trying to just make it be something. Does that make sense? I want you to have an understanding. So that way you know what to do. Mm -hmm. So think about the subdirectory as Okay, so let's just look at this. Can we just look at this piece right here? Everybody see this part? Mm -hmm. It has my name.kw.com, right? Ignore the rest of it. That's my website. This, p this page of my website has to also have a web address, right? All the pages of my website are not just inside of this one, this one URL. It has to have its own unique identifier, right? So, to create its unique identifier, you have to put a forward slash in the little oh, subdomain. Sorry, I just I just like I just went through it all and I finished it. You know, to look at it. We're fixing a few things. What does it say? We're fixing a few things. Oh. <laughs> they knew I was teaching this class today. Yeah, obviously. Obviously, it is. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be fun. All right. So does that make a little more sense that every page that's inside your website has to have its own address? 
Think about like an apartment building. Does each of, does every apartment in the apartment building have the same address? No. No. It's 1000 Main Street, apartment A, B, C, D, E, F, G, right? This is the same idea. This is the 100 Main Street right here, and this is the A, B, C, D, E, F, G. It's just indexing an address for each individual page so that people can go there. What's also great about that is it's a unique identifier. If you wanted to take this page and post a link to this on Facebook and say, learn about my services, you could click and put this URL right here and it will take them directly to this page. They won't have to navigate and try to find it. It just takes them there. It's like a GPS, right? Does that help you? Does that help you mentally to think about it? Okay. That's okay. We're going to continue having some conversations and I'm going to continue making, do you guys like the videos that I'm, that I do the short ones? Okay. I'm going to continue doing those. I'll probably do a video all about slugs and why they're important and SEO and why that's important and how to do it correctly. Okay. So we're going to, we're going to just keep diving into these little nuances because I don't expect any of you guys to have a web design degree. Okay. you you have a real estate license. <laughs> you won't let me down. Guess what? I don't either. I have to learn. This is not a native thing for me. I went to school to be a technical writer. <laughs> You know, really? yeah, we're not on, you know, we're not always on the path that we thought we'd be on, right? So don't let this overwhelm you, okay? We're going to get through it together. You're like, I can't even find it. It's not going to work. Like, yeah. Okay, I'm going to show you that in just one second. Yeah, I, know. I promise. You're working ahead. It's okay. You're good. So you are going to have three exact identical kind of situations as you work through these next little three sections. Your company profile, your about me, and your contact us. You're going to have to do this search engine optimization and content for all three of these. So you can literally just continue through them. So here is the about me page. Okay. I'll take you to the next one. So yeah, this one is the second segment. So see how this is about me right here. Oh, my computer's fine. And then it has your SEO and then it has your content. So you'll walk through all of those sections to make sure that everything is there the way you want it to be. Okay. Again, I don't expect you to fill all of this out right now. Okay. So I'm going to continue past this. The third one that we're working on is the contact page. And I'm actually going to change this to say contact me because I'm a me, not an us, right? So the content is simple on here, right? It's your content and like, I mean, your contact number and your email address, contact, not content. Um, and then in this little message box, what's really cool is that you can kind of suggest what you want them to type. Like I said, need technology assistance searching for a home, I can help. Because if you need technology assistance, I can help you. If you need a real estate agent, I know a few. <laughs> okay, good. Somebody laughed. I'm happy a few of you laughed. Um, so I, I can help them, right? And hey, I mean, I, I give referrals when I get them. <laughs> so you just never know, right? Oh, yeah, exactly. Oh. <laughs> it yes. Me Did you have to resize it, Sam? That's crazy. Yeah. Mine didn't do it. Wow. It, well, it uh, sort of a little bit. 
Gotcha. It took me time to get it. It's okay. We got you. I knew we would get that was gonna be no, my I'll next go minute. Back to where all you guys are. <laughs> That's okay. Because what I'm telling you is this, this there's no way that y'all could fill this out in this time that we have together now. Okay. Okay. So you are gonna wanna look at this and come back to it. Also, I have a, a video where I walked through this and I'm talking through it. Or if you want to hear someone different than me, I have another video of Scott Leroy walking through it. So I have a couple videos of people walking through it. There's about 27 videos of people walking through it on KW Command, <laughs> I mean Connect, <laughs> about Command. So there's all kinds of videos out there. But if you want the video, just let me know. I can give it to you. Um, I'm happy to go ahead and send it out with the other stuff that I've promised you on the signing the yellow sheet. So, um, you just want to make sure to walk through and answer all the questions. And when you don't know the answer to the question, just let me know and I'm going to help you. I'm not going to leave you alone. Okay. But you don't want to come and answer. <laughs> I don't know. For the right price. No, <laughs> for the right price. A free, right? Free room and board. Free room and board for a while. Right? I so, know. My husband. <laughs> Beth is like, I have first uh, She's already asked. She's like, you know, you can come over anytime. No, so you guys are just going to want to walk through this and just, you're going to be doing better than you realize that you are too. Like, you know more than you think that you do. Okay. And those Scott, what's his name, videos are really good. I have done this with him. Yes. So I have a lot of it done, but he clarified a lot of things. That right, and there's a change. lot of things that may either may change or there are things that are only nuances that we would know here locally because he's in Florida. You know, he, he knows a lot, but he doesn't know everything. Um, and neither do I. I know a lot, but I don't know everything. So just know that you can walk through these pages, and when you hit the wall, I've got resources for you. That's what I need you to know. So I'm going to move past this so that you guys can see what happens when you've walked through all four steps. It will say, Sites FAQ. So this is your frequently asked questions, right? Use it. Hmm? Use it. Use it. <laughs> Site settings, manage your creation. I love that. It's like, it makes me think of like Frankenstein and it's like Halloween time, right? Your creation. <laughs> My creation. Um, <laughs> So you can manage this here. Creating more sites. This is my little like very soft preview. You can create additional pages. There are some super smart people on the KW Command Facebook group who have figured out how to embed a video on their page in their site. They figured out how to embed a Google Calendar where people can schedule on your Google Calendar. They've figured out some crazy smart stuff that I probably would have figured out. I just haven't had time to sit and do it. So sites doesn't mean you're creating a whole new website. It Correct. Mean you're creating a page within. A board. page to live inside of here. Yeah. Okay. You can create more sites to live in here besides those three, or pages, besides those three that we just looked at. The company profile, the about me, and the contact us. You can have other stuff. That's cool, right? I can have other stuff. There, so you could create another very basic page where you went in and filled in content and kind of made sections into it where you have a blog. You could do all kinds of different things, okay? The sky is really probably the limit. However, I haven't even really played with this that much. I've only tried it one time to make a page. It worked. Um, so this is another segment. Remember what I told you though in the beginning when we first came in, some of you, I'm saying this again because some of you came in after I said it, on the sites page, there are individual landing pages and your website and all of your index neighborhood pages. So all, there's lots of different things that you can access inside this one little portal. Okay. So I'm going to exit the Kelly guide. Because I want to show you guys something that is probably the most crucial thing that you're going to know before you leave here, other than the thing I said was most crucial earlier, because I was just trying to get you to rein back in. It worked. <laughs> so when you are here, after you've done your Kelly guide, you should be able to take a look 
at the pages that you have created with the preview. You see the little preview right here? The live all. So you'll be able to take a look at those and preview them to make sure that they look the way you want them to. Now, I don't know if the preview is working right now. Beth said she had a screen that says we're working on some things. So who knows? So when you're in the Kelly Guide, if you scroll all the way back up to the top, there's a little X in the corner. It'll bring you right back here. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna go to agent site pages to see this screen. So you can preview the whole website right here. And you can preview individual pages. Here. Okay. You good? Yes. Okay. The other thing that's very important to realize is that you can preview. Let's see if the preview will show. When I do the preview, it doesn't have my information. Have my, my so preview has nothing. Has it nothing. It doesn't have any of the stuff I just put. Okay, I can answer that question. I think. So under this page right here, agent site settings. You want to make sure that this is turned on. Oh, whoa! That makes a difference. That makes a big difference. <laughs> yeah. So if you do all the work and then you go to look at it and preview it, and then it's like wah wah wah, you know, it's not there, and you're like, you're literally laying on your desk and you're crying. Your computer's wet. Now you've got to take it to the Geek Squad because you cried on it because you thought I did all that work and it's gone. <laughs> yeah. You you say lots of words that are not nice. <laughs> so you go back to the agent site pages. Now here's the other thing I'll tell you. After you turn that on, if you go try to preview it right now, it may not immediately refresh. It takes about five to fifteen minutes because it has to send a message out to the Google world. Hey Google, hey. <laughs> You know, Hi. it has to like let everybody in the cyber world know that this is the new address for this page, that this is what's happening. So those are some, for the previewing pages and this agent site settings is probably the most important thing that you learned today. And here's the other thing I'm gonna tell you for those of you who are gonna go back and do a little more editing work in your Kelly Guide. When you go back in your Kelly Guide and you make edits, it's very likely that it will turn off your toggle switch and you'll have to turn it back on again. <laughs> Under agent site settings. Okay. Mine did not turn off, which it has turned off every time I've gone back and made changes and come back. It's turned off every time until this one. So maybe they've repaired that. However, I want you to make sure that you check it because nobody told me to check that. I just went in there and I was like laying on my computer and crying and upset because I was like, I did all that work. I have to teach a class. I have to do a video, you know, like I was, I was nervous. Can we go back if we messed up? Yeah. You can't, can't go back. So the neighborhood pages, does it automatically assign? Does it look like? So anybody that you have a physical address for, and you may see your name or someone else's name in here that you know, anybody that you've assigned a physical address, it automatically indexes the neighborhood page for you. So you could go in here and get those URLs for those people, which is really cool. <laughs> Is he right? You got her, Sam? Okay. Good, Sam. Good I love all of how everybody's so helpful in this room. Y'all have been really awesome because this is this is a tough process. This is not an easy process. Um, I will tell you for those of you who went through my Playster classes, like maybe two of you, three of you, maybe four of you. Uh, <laughs> How much more intense was the place their website? I mean, yeah. for just let these guys know who haven't. Yes, yeah, it's been a while, so I don't know that I remember it. Really. It was 
so thorough. Like probably 35 different things that you had to walk through with multiple filled, fill, you know, blanks to fill. It was a lot. It was a lot. So that's right. If you did it, then you can do it now. And remember, this is just not familiar, right? This is new and it's not familiar. It will become more familiar. You will get used to it. So the things that I have promised you, I will, I've promised you the walkthrough of the Kelly Guide video, which I've already done. I'm happy to send you the Scott Leroy one too, if you want both or one or the other. Um, and then also the Scott Leroy video on how to forward your domain correctly. Sam, did you forward a domain? Did it work every, out okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it will take, it will take which one to tell us what should have done. The Scott Leroy. The, Scott Leroy. Oh, okay. the forwarding video. The one that you're sending us because there were 50 people who showed up. There yes. And anybody who comments on this on Facebook, I'll send it to them too. They have to comment. So they have just to know. know you forward, it'll take some time. Also, one thing to think about if you have visited your domain a lot on your computer, you need to clear your cookies. Yes. Because it'll keep trying to go back to you. It worked. it worked! Yes! Mm -hmm. Yep. You don't need that if you don't have that. You might need it if you ever want to have it, though. So, just super helpful. Um, all right. I know that y'all have a lot of questions in your mind, so asking you if you have questions is probably like a duh kind of situation. However, did anybody learn something today that they could say, hey, I learned X? I learned where to get the Kelly Guide. Kelly Guide. Anything else? I learned the toggle switch. The toggle toggle switch. switch. Your life is now complete. You have the toggle switch. Um, <laughs> Just, I cannot get the Kelly Okay. The what username and password? What's the username? It's whatever you use to log into this or my KW. So probably like J Franklin and the number after it. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I can so, change a, a password. Yes, you can. You'll have to change it with my KW because it has to change in all of the ecosystems. It's one password. So you're welcome. Well, if, but if, if I've got one for that, then it should work in Kelly. It should work in Kelly, yes. And maybe it's just a username issue. Um, you have a question? Okay. Um, so I'm a neighbor of Patriots. Uh -huh. I went to one of my people that I have a listing for. That listing is a Sean. You make this. 